Do 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 do. I eat game. Yeah. What's up, Tarnished? Mark here, and we're working on the Grave Warden Duelist. And this fight, this fight is an interesting one because it's fairly simple, but it's easy to get mashed, completely smashed by this guy. Let me pull up the map so we can make sure we're all on the same page here. Uh, finding this place can be tricky because it's kind of down a ravine. Anyway, let's go over a couple things real quick. I'm playing a Vanguard and I have the Hallbird removed, so I have a faster roll. It's a medium load roll. And uh, I'm using a longsword plus three, so if I'm doing more damage than you, that would probably be the reason why. Uh, we are gonna use our spirits. Um, I don't use them in the video, but yes, they will be helpful for you. I would save them towards the end of the fight so it makes it a little easier when he goes into rage mode. We're gonna keep really close to him and rolling is key here. We're gonna use the invincibility of our roll a lot here. Um, we're gonna, it's all about the backstab. I'm gonna show you what to look for and how to do it. I made a bunch of mistakes in this fight, but I'm gonna leave them in there because I wanna show that you can make mistakes and you could still win. You could still beat this guy. So once you get in, go ahead and collect your runes if they are there, and we're going to immediately get into it. So it is all about rolling left or right with his average swings, and we're trying to get right behind him and then triggering uh, a backstab. So you're going to position yourself right behind him and hit R1, and we're going to do this a lot. So as soon as he goes down, we're going to give him some distance, and you have to retarget him. So click in R3 and retarget. And then we're going to, ma mainly we're going to do this the whole fight. You're just reading him so that you can roll through his attacks because he's really aggressive. And we're just trying to position ourselves so that we can get access to his back and perform a backstab. So when he launches himself up into the air, we're going to roll into him so that we can get right behind him. And so every opportunity we get, we're trying to position ourselves ourselves behind him so that we can get that backstab. I mean, it really is like the easiest way of dealing with him, rolling through his attacks, getting positioning yourself. By the way, when he grabs, when you see that hand like that, roll back because he will grab you by the throat and pick you up and he does a fair amount of damage. So as soon as you see him reach back like that, we're totally going to try to avoid it at all costs. Now, when you start swinging his hammers around like this, just roll into him, roll to the back, wait for him to touch down, and that's when we're gonna go in for our backstab. And so he'll sometimes do this, he'll shout, and he'll go into like rage mode, and that's fine. He's gonna do more damage, he's a little faster, his attacks mostly remain the same, and we're gonna continue to dodge. Now the secret with the dodge is, don't look at his hands, pay attention to the hammers. So when the hammers are near you, that's when you're gonna roll. And remember, you're rolling kind of diagonally into him because you're trying to get around him. But it's a matter of waiting till he's done with his combo. So he's got two, three, he's got some four hit combos and we're trying to wait for him to get through all those swings. And I, it, you know, the f thing about this fight is staying with the rhythm of this, this dance with him and not losing concentration. I mean, I got I got hit a bunch on this. Um, and it's fine. I mean, you know, if you have enough flasks, you can get through it. But try to stay focused and try to avoid his grab. Try to roll through his attacks. Not like I'm doing right there. But position yourself again so that you can get that backstab in. Look, we're at 50% health. Um, I mean, once you once you get the rhythm down, the fight can actually kind of go kind of quickly. And there he goes again. He's popping up into the air. That one is probably one of the most difficult ones to get down. But if you wait till he starts coming down, when he pops up, when he starts to come down, that's when you sort of roll back behind him. Like that. That invinci invincibility roll really does play a huge part into this fight. Well, I guess it does for, for most of these fights in Elden Ring. By the way, I'm curious what you guys think of the game so far. Are you enjoying it? Is it living up to your expectations? Is it really different? Um, I am really, really loving this game. I love all the boss fights. Um, From Software is so good at creating interesting and challenging boss fights, and this is definitely no exception. And having the, the open world element is just, it's fantastic. I, I love it. But I'm curious what you guys think of it so far. Anyway, back to the game. We are working on this guy still. 
Uh, you can see his health is pretty low, and he does do this sort of rage thing more. And he's really aggressive, so he's even more aggressive when he goes into this rage mode. But again, our strategy does not change. We're still rolling through his attacks, left, right, sometimes back when he goes for that grab. And we're having patience, and we're just waiting for his combos to end so we can get that backstab. And sometimes you'll miss it, just like I did right there. That's okay. Back out and sort of reset. And there we go. With that jump, work your way around right behind him and get that backstab in. And we're close. Look, I don't have any flasks left. My, my health is low. Um, he's, a, he's a challenging fight. It requires a lot of concentration and finesse. But once you get it, you take him down, it's all good. Don't forget to like and subscribe, folks. It does help me out quite a bit. Thanks for checking out my video.